Li Feng, who was reborn and transported to the world of Marvel, not only activated the system and became a top director, living a high-dot-end life, but also married a beautiful wife. The White Queen Obtain special agent technology from Ace Agents. Obtain the memory thinking of Sherlock the Detective. Dot. Obtain the military commander of Chanchi Star. Wilderness Wolf Template. Director of the Divine Shield Bureau. Brotherly Fong, join the Divine Shield Bureau, or else we can be your liquor. Swallowing Star. I will never go to Earth again. Li Fong is too terrifying. Miaba. Fong, you're the family planning director. I'm going to farm. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 My wife is the White Empress, seeking flower comments. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Massa City, United States. In a private estate covering an area of 500 square meters. Li Feng sat on the sofa, holding a cigar in his hand, looking at the snow outside the landing window, and cocked up his mouth. This is his forty-second day as the owner of this estate, and everything is as usual, making him feel happy. He felt very lucky because of an accident in his past life, he came to this world called Marvel Universe. Unlike the novels he read online, on his first day at Marvel World, he had nothing and encountered nothing. Whether it's a system, some kind of high-dot-tech, or unique capabilities. But the only thing that made him feel lucky was that he had a wife named Emma, nicknamed White Queen. Yes. It's the White Queen who almost wiped out the X.men. But at this stage, the White Queen has not fully awakened all her mutant abilities. She is still a curvaceous and curvaceous woman, charming and charming, with a solitary and indifferent personality. Of course, in the city of Massa, the White Queen's family background is also very outstanding, due to her father who is known as the richest man in Massa. And this 500 square meter estate is the wedding decoration given to Li Feng by her father. It's time to eat, sir. A young nanny wearing a maid dress walked over and bowed to Li Feng. Okay. Li Feng nodded lightly, extinguished his cigar, and walked to another living room. At the dining table, the White Queen, dressed in sexy pajamas, was curling her delicate legs and savoring fresh steak. After Li Feng sat down, she raised her eyebrows and smiled coquettishly, asking, How did you sleep last night? Everything is fine, Li Feng chuckled without concealing his greedy gaze. Of course, it would be even better if you were with me. Upon hearing this, Empress Bai couldn't help but roll her eyes and gave Li Feng a coquettish glare. Eat your food. Although she said that, Empress Bai still kindly picked up a steak and gently placed it into Li Feng's plate. Are you going to the recording site today? Do you need me to have my father arrange some bodyguards to accompany you? Although his tone was cold, Li Feng could clearly hear the warmth inside. He curled his lips and walked to the side of Empress Bai, hugging her waist and laughing, You underestimate your husband and me so much. Isn't it just to promote the trailer for Tiger Gallbladder and Dragon Power? There's nothing to be nervous about. When will you be back? I want you to come with me to the board of directors. The White Queen stared at Li Feng with her deep blue beautiful eyes and asked lightly. Probably. Around nine o'clock tonight. Li Feng estimated and responded with a smile. As for what he said about the trailer for, Tiger Gallbladder, since you are a traveler, you cannot achieve nothing and become a useless person who only knows how to eat soft food, right? So, he can only become a, second-rate, director in the Marvel world and make some movies that have never appeared in this world before. In addition to, Die Hard, he even made several movies such as, The Expendables, 123, which made him famous overnight. After all, these movies all exist in the memories of Li Feng's past life, and he is simply adept at making them. I'll go to the hospital first to see my mother. Due to the frequent use of psychotropic drugs by Queen Bai's mother, 
her physical condition is very poor and she often needs to stay in the hospital for treatment. So Empress Bai usually goes to the hospital to take care of her mother after finishing dinner with Li Feng, and it's like this every day. Wait a minute. Li Feng suddenly embraced the waist of Empress Bai and looked at her affectionately. What are you doing? The White Queen was startled. Two seconds later, the four lips will face each other. All right, you go ahead. Li Feng smiled and licked the corner of his mouth, releasing the soft body of the White Empress. On the latter's face, there is rarely an extra blush, which appears more charming and charming. After giving Li Feng a fierce glare, she turned around and changed her clothes before leaving. Empress Bai has experienced Li Feng's domineering behavior and actions countless times. If it were someone else, she would not hesitate to use her inexperienced abilities to slaughter them. But in front of Li Feng, she found herself unable to rise to that thought. But the more domineering a person is, the easier it is to be conquered by hegemony. What does the identity of the White Queen represent in the city of Masa? Masa's richest daughter. The sequential successor of the largest trading group in the United States. Due to being a mutant, Empress Bai was abandoned by her family elders at a very young age, and even spent a long time in a ward controlled by her foster mother. Her first variant ability was telepathy, which gave her a lot of unusual looks. Until the day Li Feng traveled to this world, her diamond ability awakened for the first time and she escaped from that ward. However, she was exhausted during the pursuit and fainted in a small alley, where she was saved by Li Feng. From then on, the cold personality of Empress Bai was gradually changed by Li Feng's shameless demeanor. Remembering Li Feng's rogue behavior towards her in the morning, Empress Bai's heartbeat quickened slightly. She has never been teased like this since birth. In the past, if other men just glanced at her more, they would either be killed by the bodyguard sent by their father or suffocated by her psychic mutant ability. Unfortunately, as a man like Li Feng, she has no choice. However, she did not resist in her heart, and instead became increasingly dependent on Li Feng after spending these days together. After his wife left, Li Feng also changed into a suit and drove a Maserati to the city center. As a second-rate director, it is naturally impossible for Li Feng to only film Tiger Dare. Which movie from his past life has he never watched? Man in Black, 123, Mission Impossible, 123456, Speed and Passion, Asterisk Asterisk Wait and Wait, Countless. As long as he shoots these movies one by one, not to mention a small wealthy man like Masa, he may become the richest man in the United States. So, Li Feng's initial plan to enter this world is to become a director who is even more impressive than Mr. Spielberg. At that time, with a net worth of trillions, which one is not easy to enter the upper-class society. Today, Li Feng is going to work with a film company to promote the trailer for Tiger Gallbladder. He expects to earn around 1 billion yuan from this film. He plans to invest all of these 10 billion yuan in the enterprise of the White Queen. It's not that the family business of Empress Bai was short of money, but because at the moment Li Feng met Empress Bai, the system suddenly woke up. As long as he shoots a movie, the system will reward a bunch of items from the movie. The pistol used by the protagonist of Tiger Gallbladder. Keanu Reeves' dog. The glasses of Agent Bean. Exclusive vehicle for Speed and Passion. The helicopter that the protagonist of Hurricane Rescue has ridden. Chapter 2 the Threat of Red Fruit Seeking Flower Evaluation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Of course, the system doesn't always give some useless rewards, and sometimes there are things that impress Li Feng. For example, the special agent technology in Ace Agents. The assassination techniques of this killer is not too cold. Dot. The memory thinking of Sherlock the detective. Tianchi Star Military Commander. Wilderness Wolf Template. Especially the Wilderness Wolf Template, this is Li Feng's confidence in not wanting bodyguards in the city of Masa. Although he has never used the Wilderness Wolf Template after obtaining it, 
he has watched DC movies and is not worried about any big trouble. After all, at this point in time, the mutants have not yet fully exploded, and Magneto has not appeared. Even the earliest green giant should still be in the experimental stage. As for the Titan Man who claimed to kill half of the universe's creatures, Li Fong didn't take it to heart anymore. He just wants to be a salted fish and live happily with his wife Emma, earning billions or even tens of billions by making movies and becoming a globally respected director. As for saving the world and becoming a superhero, how important is it to be with your wife? Li Fong is not interested in these at all, nor does he want to participate in various so-called power struggles. But if that titan is not interested in coming to Earth to destroy his beautiful life, he doesn't mind being the master, summoning the Avengers, and by the way, getting rid of him. If people don't offend me, I won't offend them. I don't cause trouble, but I'm not afraid of it either. This is Li Feng's idea. Thinking about this, Li Feng glanced at the navigation and arrived at the destination. He parked his car in the underground parking lot of the film company and then walked towards the top floor. For the director, promotional videos are a very important part, and during this period, he also needs to meet with several main actors, which cannot be delayed. However, at this moment, dozens of black vans suddenly stopped outside the building, blocking the entire intersection. In the van, there were strong men wearing black suits and masks, all with nine-headed snake tattoos on their necks and fierce eyes. One of the leaders held a silencing submachine gun in his left hand and a photo with an X painted on it in his right hand. The person in the photo is none other than Li Fong. Recently, Massa's nights have not been as peaceful as usual. The more developed a city is, the more hidden dangers lie in the darkness. Not long ago, the largest gang leader in Massa City was assassinated by an unknown organization and replaced the leadership of the entire gang. Except for some prominent figures living in higher society who are aware of this, almost no common people have noticed these changes. Because their eyes were all focused on one person, Li Fong. With the continuous rise of this talented director, Massa's entertainment industry has become increasingly interested in this name. This includes the new leader of the underground mafia in Massa, who went berserk. Quickly, Li Fong took the elevator to the top floor of this building. The Rivadio building is the most famous building in Massa City. This place often hosts celebrity cocktail parties, which is a relatively bustling place, so the investors of Tiger Gallbladder and Dragon Power directly contracted this place to promote it. Both the reporter and the media have not arrived at this point yet and Li Fong has enough time. He is not in a hurry, but slowly walks out of the elevator. But what surprised him was that, the floor in front of me was actually covered with corpses. They have bullet holes visible to the naked eye everywhere. In addition, the surface of these corpses is covered in a thick layer of ice, causing a cold sensation to fill the entire room. What happened? Li Fong frowned, and the air was filled with a smell of blood that made him feel uncomfortable. Robbery. Or revenge. Li Fong was about to call the organizer to inquire about the situation when a sharp and piercing scream suddenly came from his ear. He frowned, his intuition told him something was wrong, but he couldn't say it. At this moment, a piercing scream came to my ears again, faintly accompanied by some suppressed gunfire. Li Fong squinted his eyes and gave up the idea of calling the police. Following the source of the sound, he walked to a deep conference room and pushed the door open before entering. Click, when Li Fong entered, he found that the conference room was filled with people. What shocked him was that these people were all wearing submachine guns with a strong sense of killing intent. Meanwhile, in front of these guys lay two corpses with familiar faces. Li Fong recognized at a glance that they were the two male leads hired by the director's team in Tiger and Dragon. What the hell is going on? Li Fang's face instantly turned cold. The protagonist of Laozi's movie was slaughtered by someone. What is the situation? He lifted his head and gazed directly at the people sitting in the conference room, tall and imposing, with cold eyes that filled the air with a strong sense of oppression. Are you Li Fong? 
the director of Tiger Brave Dragon. Suddenly, a burly bald man sitting at the top spoke coldly towards Li Feng. He carried a strong sense of banditry, his eyes were extremely cold, and there was a faint chill on his body, causing the temperature around him to drop a bit. Li Feng didn't know the purpose of these guys, so he nodded coldly without saying anything. Our boss said he wants you to make movies for him for free for the rest of your life. Otherwise, whoever dares to take your movies will be killed by us. Do you have any objections? Upon hearing these words, Li Feng finally had a sudden realization. Isn't this just a threat? Still shooting movies for free for life. When do I do good deeds? Li Feng's face turned black and he hugged his chest with both hands, sneering, What kind of thing are you, boss? What if I don't? Faced with this group of fierce men, he had no fear at all. The group of sturdy men with guns hanging on their bodies were stunned for a moment, and then burst into laughter, looking at Li Feng with mockery and disdain in their eyes. The bald man leading the way slowly stood up and took out a cigar from his pocket. He then took out a sharp blade and pressed it against Li Feng's neck, sneering, it seems that you don't recognize the situation. I'll give you two options. Either kneel down and agree to my request, or I'll break your tendons and throw you into the river to feed the crocodile. Or. He kicked the two corpses under his feet and said, do you want these two miscellaneous pieces to be killed by me? The threat of red fruit. If Li Feng were just an ordinary person, upon hearing such words, he could only choose to comply. After all, there are nearly twenty submachine guns aimed at me here, as well as bodies scattered all over the place. But now Li Feng is not panicking, instead his eyes are even more gloomy. His sharp gaze quickly caught sight of the tattoo on the bald man's neck. It seems like a person from a hydra. Chapter 3 Are you a mutant? Seeking flower evaluation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Li Feng showed no fear at all and reached out to hold on to the bald man's shoulder, saying, Originally, I was in a good mood today, but you killed the protagonist I invited and even disrupted my press conference. So, none of you want to leave today. Upon hearing these words, these gangsters froze again. What kind of thing? Did we hear it wrong, or did you say it wrong? Faced with so many gunshots, shouldn't you immediately kneel down and cry for mercy? What is the situation? Do directors who make movies now have such talent? Kid, don't be shameless. The bald man gave a cruel smile and everyone in the conference room stood up. But they didn't have a rough choice to shoot because their purpose here was to coerce Li Feng to help them make movies and become their means of making money. So, they don't intend to kill Li Feng. But if this guy doesn't understand, they naturally have 10,000 ways to make him unable to survive or die. It seems that you have given up the only chance to live. Li Feng's face gradually tightened, and a murderous intent emerged in his eyes. It's time to try the power of the wilderness wolf template. However, just as he was about to give it a try, the elevator suddenly opened and a figure wearing tight-fitting clothes and carrying a shield rushed out. Captain America Li Feng was taken aback when he saw the person's appearance. And when these sturdy men in front of them saw this figure, a hint of fear flashed on their faces without hesitation. The bald man even raised his gun without hesitation and said, Shoot me, smash these two miscellaneous pieces together into a sieve. Obviously, these guys didn't expect Captain America to break in at this time either. During this period, Captain America should have just awakened and had not yet created the Avengers. As a member of the Divine Shield Agency, Captain America is definitely a headache for some Hydra elements. Faced with Li Feng, an unarmed second dot rate director, bald men have plenty of ways to torture him. But in the face of Captain America, this frozen person, they must muster up their spirits. As for Li Feng, they don't care at all. Just a second-rate director. They can find more than ten items like this in a day. What's the point compared to killing Captain America? But what they didn't expect was that Li Feng was the biggest threat in this office. 
he has long been impatient. These guys with nine-headed snake tattoos on their necks have ruined his good mood for the day. Not only did he kill the protagonist he invited, but he even planned to capture him and make a lifetime of free movies. Are you joking? Step back, leave this to me. The captain of the United States glanced at Li Fong and gave him a warning look. But Li Fong didn't pay any attention to him at all. At the moment the bullet is fired, Li Fong and Captain America transformed into a black shadow, charging towards both sides with tacit understanding. However, Li Fang's speed unexpectedly surpassed Captain America in an instant. He passed through the densely packed bullets like a ghost, and in an instant came to a sturdy man, casually punching him. Death. Click and wipe. This nine-headed snake member's skull is directly shattered. Shit. Other members of the nine-headed snake saw this scene and directly cursed, while pointing their guns at Li Fong. They finally realized that this guy was the biggest trouble. But it's too late. What Li Fong possesses is the wilderness wolf template. Although he has never used it before, he always has a feeling of endless energy when doing certain things. In other words, Li Fong possesses all the attributes of the body of the wilderness wolf. Even when encountering the green giant in its heyday, Li Fong could easily handle it. What do these ordinary people with guns count as? At such a close distance, relying solely on these bullets with kinetic energy to harm Li Fong is simply a pipe dream. Bang! 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 After several piercing sounds of breaking through the air, the conference room was covered in blood and corpses. Except for the bald man who was shivering all over, no one survived. Li Fong stood on the table, wiped his fists, and looked at the bald man with a cold gaze. Next second, the bald man was covered with a layer of ice cones all over his body, causing the temperature in the entire conference room to drop. Is this a mutant? Captain America exclaimed in surprise. Unfortunately, you all have to die here. The bald man sneered, and the operator's icy cold rushed towards Li Fong. Unexpectedly, you can also encounter mutants here. Li Fong murmured to himself in his heart, not panicking, but casually raised five fingers and forcefully grasped them in the air, moment a deep purple electric light flickered out, transforming into a huge axe, and forcefully split the bald man who had turned into an ice cone in half. After the blood flickered, everything calmed down. The bald man's dying eyes carried a strong fear, as if he had seen a demon. Is this the power of the wilderness axe? Li Fong secretly curled up the corner of his mouth and gently contracted his fingers. The experience of the wilderness wolf template is not bad. You, don't move. Upon hearing this sound, Li Fong slowly turned back. The captain of the United States, who arrived from the Divine Shield Bureau on the spot, picked up a gun from the ground and aimed it at him at some point. Are you going to take action on me? Chris. Do you know me? Captain America's pupils contracted and he suddenly paused. I don't want to cause trouble, nor do I want to find enemies for myself. If you are sensible, use the name of the Divine Shield Bureau to clean up this place. I know these guys are Hydra people, thank you for holding them. Don't say my name, don't investigate me, otherwise I will find you, and then. Blow your head out with one punch. After dropping these few words, Li Fong transformed into a dark shadow and flashed past Captain America, disappearing directly. He doesn't want to reveal his identity because it will definitely attract the attention of the Divine Shield Bureau. But this does not mean that if there is trouble coming to his door, he will stand idly by and yield obediently. If there are some people who are tired and crooked who want to come to him for help, he will definitely not hesitate, let alone show any mercy. Following Li Fang's disappearance, Captain America unexpectedly found that his back had already been soaked in cold sweat. He opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but couldn't say anything. This guy how exactly did they solve these gang members? Why do you know my true identity? Watching the gang members lying around with shattered skulls, Captain America sighed. 
Li Fang's abnormality made him feel instinctive fear. This shouldn't happen to a spy. I didn't expect this second-rate director to have a side that transcends cognition. Captain America murmured softly. Before coming to this building, he received a message from the Divine Shield Bureau. Originally, he came to protect Li Fong. But unexpectedly, Li Fong protected him. Chapter 4 The Terror of Telepathy, Seeking Flower Review You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. After a while, Captain America took out his phone and dialed a phone number, whispering, Director, I'm in some trouble here and... What interests you? At the same time, after Li Fong quietly solved the trouble in the building, a black van stopped at the entrance of his villa. Sitting on the van was a neon national, wearing a silver samurai sword. A faint silver color flowed through the meridians of his arms. Silver warrior, one of the mutants. In fact, the bald mutant who had previously attacked Li Fong, including the mutant who had previously squatted outside the villa, were all newly appointed underground leaders from Masa City who were dispatched by the rampage. Their true purpose is not to coerce Li Fong into becoming their free labor force, but rather for kidnapping Masa's richest daughter. For this reason, the rampage has developed a very comprehensive plan. Firstly, he planned to use catching Li Fong to coerce Empress Bai. Secondly, he will use the life of the White Queen to force Massa's richest man to give up all his entertainment industry in order to expand his territory. I believe that as long as I catch Li Fong, I am not afraid that the White Queen will not yield. Because according to his investigation, the only intimate person of Empress Bai is Li Fong. Indeed. The idea of going berserk is not wrong. But he never expected another identity of the White Queen. When the Silver Knight saw the plump woman walk into the villa with his own eyes, a strong desire flashed in his eyes. He waved his hand and ordered all the assassins in the car to quietly touch the outskirts of the villa and kill the bodyguard stationed outside the flower bed. These bodyguards are arranged by the father of the White Queen. Although they may not be among the top in the United States, each one is a mercenary. However, these bodyguards are still too immature compared to the mutant silver warriors. After easily resolving the battle, the silver warrior stormed into the living room with five cold-eyed assassins. However, the white queen, as if she had anticipated, changed into a tight nightgown and sat on the sofa, gazing blankly at these cold-dot-blooded guys. Hello, Emma. The leading silver warrior put away his samurai sword and smiled at the white empress. Welcome, my friends. Would you like a drink? The White Emperor greeted these assassins with a charming smile behind him. She had already discovered the existence of these people through telepathy and learned that Li Fong was in trouble. But she is not worried. This is Masa City, which is her father's territory. If anything happens to Li Fong, she will definitely find everyone and slaughter them. If you're willing to take off your shirt, I'd be happy to have a drink with you. The silver warrior gave a fierce smile and directly pulled out his samurai sword. He doesn't intend to talk too much nonsense. The rampage only gave him two hours of time. If the time has come and the white queen is not captured, and instead the richest man in Masa sends someone to support her, then this operation will be considered a failure. What are the consequences of failure? Everyone is going to die. He doesn't want to die. Take it away. The silver warrior waved his hand and the two assassins walked straight towards the white empress, taking out the silver handcuffs from their bodies. If we can personally capture the white empress, it will definitely be a great achievement. When the time comes to satisfy the boss who went berserk, they all have rewards. As these assassins approached her, the white queen's eyes were filled with indifference. She gently lifted her tender white hand and suddenly pinched it in front of her, whoosh. I saw a diamond-sharp arrow burst into his hand and heart, instantly piercing through the heads of the two assassins. These two assassins were still immersed in the rewards after completing the mission, and were instantly killed by the sharp arrow formed by this diamond. The sudden change made the remaining assassins dumbfounded. 
Empress Bai hugged her chest with both hands and slowly stood up under the dull gaze of the assassins, saying solemnly, I haven't used this ability to kill for a long time. You should feel honored. After speaking, she transformed into a crystal clear diamond body from top to bottom, appearing particularly beautiful and dazzling in the scorching sun. These assassins, no matter how foolish, also reacted with fear surging out of their eyes. You. You're a mutant. Telepathy, in diamond form. Yes. This is the White Queen. After remembering the power of the mutant, several assassins panicked. Next second, they immediately raised their assault rifles and, disregarding orders to capture the White Queen alive, pulled the trigger. If they don't do this, they will die themselves. No one is willing to sacrifice their lives. What about mutants? Under a 5.56. caliber bullet, even the most powerful mutant would be beaten into a sieve, right? However, what they didn't expect was that the White Queen completely disregarded these almost toy like firearms. The bullets that kept breaking through the air hit her, but they all turned into powder. How powerful is the White Queen in diamond form? Her body is not only impeccable, but also capable of withstanding immense blows without feeling fatigued or needing water or food supplements. Even the most powerful telepathic among mutants is immune to mental attacks. Two seconds later. Countless sharp diamond blades, densely packed, floated up from the side of Empress Bai. Killing intent erupted. These assassins, unable to control their inner fear anymore, screamed and pulled the trigger. However, it has no effect. Die. The White Queen gently waved her hand. The diamond blade burst out like a sickle of death, piercing through the heads of several assassins without stopping. Only the Silver Warrior remained. Are you also a mutant? The White Queen elegantly propped up her chin and said coldly, I feel it. You guessed it right. The Silver Warrior let out a fierce smile, his arms instantly turning into silver metal, and his sword and five fingers fused into one. He made the usual movements of a warrior and said, Pray, stinky bitch, I swear I'll make you feel great next. As soon as the words fell, the silver warrior shot up and charged towards the white empress. However, just as he approached the white queen, her diamond form slowly disappeared, only extending a finger and pressing down on the silver warrior's forehead. Next second, the silver warrior was suddenly taken aback, his face becoming extremely dull, and he instantly lost his combat power. What do I ask you and what do you answer? Who sent you here, said Empress by coldly the silver knight replied expressionlessly, Rampage, underground emperor of the mafia in Massa. Queen Bai asked again, how is my husbandly phone now? The silver knight replied, I don't know, we'll split into two groups for action. The white queen nodded lightly and her slender fingers flicked again. The silver knight fell to the ground and his brain died. Chapter 5 Wife, I'm back. Seeking fresh flowers. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The telepathy of the White Queen is as powerful as that of a diamond. She can not only use this ability to read the thoughts and memories of others, but also forcibly modify their memories, control their thinking, engage in mental shielding, and even connect multiple people's thinking, using telepathy to put the victim in an unconscious sleep state. Overall, among all mutants, the White Queen's telepathic ability is second only to Professor X. In the end, all the assassins who broke into the villa died at the hands of the White Queen. She stretched lazily and then used her diamond power to clean up these corpses. She doesn't want Li Feng to come into contact with the fact that she is a mutant so early for now. After all, in her eyes, Li Feng now is just an ordinary person. Of course, Li Feng was unaware that his wife had been attacked by another group of assassins. At this moment, he had just walked out of a high dot end clothing store on the street, holding brand new clothes that he had spent hundreds of thousands of yuan on. This is Li Feng's habit. Every time he goes out and comes home, he will bring a gift to Empress Bai. In his eyes, this is called freshness. Although from the background of the White Queen, 
it is easy to tailor any clothes to a well-known tailor in just one sentence. But every time Li Feng buys clothes, she takes them seriously and wears them when going out. The newly launched European style dress looks good this time, and my wife will definitely be very happy to receive it. Li Feng hummed a song while stuffing his clothes into the back seat of his Maserati. In his eyes, the White Queen tends to be perfect in both facial features and figure, belonging to the absolute slightly plump and plump type, with a rare fox charm in every move and gesture. So, the clothes that can highlight her figure are more suitable for her. Before Li Feng picked out clothes for her, she was mostly wearing simple casual clothes, completely covering up her figure. Li Feng, who was about to drive home, didn't know that he had already caught the attention of countless people. In response to Li Feng's reckless behavior in the building, all of Li Feng's personal information has been displayed on the large screen located at the headquarters of the Divine Shield Agency in New York City. And in front of the big screen, Director Nick Fury, Detective Coulson, just returned from the U.S. team, showing deep reflection on the front. It doesn't seem like there's anything special about it. A second-rate director who makes movies is really that fierce. When I first saw him, I thought the same way, but after he quickly killed that group of Hydra members in the conference room, I was completely dumbfounded, said the American team Nick Fury nodded and asked, have anyone ever met this person in real life? Detective Coulson hesitated for a moment and said, I've seen it before. Last time he filmed, Expendables 3, I was there. Did he also film, Expendables 3. Nick Fry was stunned for a moment, as they, as agents, were particularly sensitive to this genre. After all, who doesn't want their profession to be made into a movie? Almost every scene in, Expendables 3, corresponds to the scene they were performing their mission. What Nick Fury didn't understand was why Li Fong, an ordinary guy, would board the ship of Massa's richest daughter. Don't be fooled by Li Feng's reputation as an action film director of the new century, but in the eyes of Massa's richest man, he is still no different from an ordinary person, right? I've seen the richest man in Massa, he's a proud and arrogant man. Nick Fury flicked the cigarette ash in his hand and said in a deep voice, judging from his appearance alone, there's nothing unusual about Li Feng. How could he be favored by Massa's richest daughter Emma? Director Detective Coulson seemed to remember something, his palm sliding towards the big screen, and several photos of hospital wards appeared, saying, I found out that Massa's richest daughter was once locked in a ward, and according to rumors, she may be one of the mutants. Mutants. Nick Fury frowned. Is it because Li Fong is also a mutant? That's why they came together. I don't know, Coulson replied. You go get in touch with the two of them and if possible, gain their trust and bring them in. Yes. Coulson was momentarily stunned and did not inquire about the reason. Usually, when encountering such incidents, the Divine Shield Bureau will investigate for a period of time before making a decision to recruit or eliminate them. But this time, Director Nick did not do so. This is obviously different from usual. But Coulson doesn't ask for it on his own, he knows his position clearly. Just a little detective, not yet qualified to inquire about the director's decision. By the way, Coulson. Nick Fury suddenly stopped him and said, This guy named Li Fong, if you can't recruit him, don't worry. I always feel like he's more mysterious than we imagine. Yes. Coulson nodded and left. At the same time. KFC City, United States. The newly established Mutant School, Brainwave Amplification Laboratory. Professor X took off his Brainwave Amplification helmet and whispered to the X.Men member beast behind him, found it, in Massa City. Did she use her own abilities again? The beast took a deep breath and said, Should we step forward to stop it, Professor? No, the time hasn't arrived yet. Professor X shook his head slightly and said, Masa City has hidden many mutants. Just now, I saw two new mutants, but they all died ten minutes later. The brainwave signal disappeared, and I couldn't see anything. Someone is slaughtering mutants. The beast tensed up and said, 
is that the guy from Magneto? No, it's not him, Professor X still shook his head and said, Hancock, I suspect a new mutant has appeared, but my brainwaves cannot detect his presence. What? The beast looked shocked and said, surprisingly. There is something you cannot perceive. That person is very powerful, Professor X muttered solemnly, I'm worried that he will become an uncontrollable existence like Magneto, and the mutant will be in danger. Perhaps we can try to contact him, the beast caressed its chin and said, let Wolverine pass by. Don't worry, I'll try to monitor his brainwaves. If he's a mutant, maybe I can talk to him directly. Professor X took a deep breath and put on his brainwave amplifier again. The light in the entire laboratory dimmed. Stars flickered one by one, and countless images flickered in Professor X's mind. Masa City As soon as Maserati was stopped, Lee Foam felt a piercing pain passing through his mind. He furrowed his brow slightly, but soon saw the beautiful figure of the White Queen not far away, so he didn't pay attention and ran towards her, Wife, I'm back. Chapter 6 Please come to your door and ask for a flower evaluation ticket. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Masa City, Private Villa. Li Feng hugged Empress Bai's face and kissed her as usual, then handed her the clothes he had bought and said with a smile, Wife, I promise you will like the clothes you bought this time. Open them and take a look. Which time did I dislike the clothes you bought? Empress Bai glanced at him, but when she took out a few clothes and saw a few low-cut outfits, she couldn't help but feel embarrassed and angry. You. This. This is too revealing. Put it on and take a look. Li Feng chuckled and urged. The White Queen glared at him, but did not refuse. In front of Li Feng, she took off her pajamas and put on a new outfit, her charming temperament even more charming. Look, perfect proportion. Li Feng looked up and down recklessly, hugging the waist of the White Empress and gently caressing her slender soft waist with his fingers. Did your husband pick it well? Hmm. Empress Bai let out a soft moan, her legs slightly weak, but she didn't break free. For some reason, she always felt very conservative in front of Li Feng. By the way, there was a bit of trouble with the promotion of Tiger and Dragon. I have to tell the investors that two of the main characters have been murdered. Li Feng suddenly remembered something and said. He had no intention of telling Empress Bai what had just happened. If she knew that he had the ability to defeat more than ten members of the Hydra alone, things would be difficult to handle. Didn't you promise to accompany me shopping? The White Queen broke free from his arm and snorted coldly. Hmm. Li Feng hesitated for a moment, looked around the villa, and said, Then I'll have the bodyguards outside come over and notify me. Wait a minute. Empress Bai shook her head and said, I don't want to go shopping again. You should call first. The bodyguards in the villa were all killed by the assassins brought by the Silver Warrior, and she didn't want Li Feng to suspect for no reason. Okay. Li Feng nodded, took out his phone, and called the investor. Quickly, the other party responded, claiming that the Divine Shield Bureau would be fully responsible for this matter, and the promotion of Tiger Gallbladder and Dragon Power was changed to two days later. Li Feng has no objection to this, I believe it must be the US team who has taken the initiative to solve this problem, so he doesn't need to worry too much. After hanging up the phone, Li Feng turned around and glanced at the White Empress in the living room. Her fair and tender skin flashed through the cracks in her collar, as well as her two straight long legs, paired with the clothes she had personally chosen. Suddenly, her breath became hot and dry. Why are you staring at me like this? Empress Bai glanced at Li Feng with her tear-stained glasses, but did not dodge. Instead, she placed her straight legs on the table, revealing everything. Li Feng chuckled and rushed towards the White Empress, saying with a smile, Wife, since you don't want to go shopping, why don't we find something else to do? What? Thing. The White Queen blushed and glared at him, trying to push away but feeling powerless. Hee <laughs> hee. 
As the words fell, Li Feng picked up the White Queen and quickly rushed into the bedroom with both feet. Two days later, in the morning, Li Feng enjoyed the breakfast made by Empress by himself while admiring her naturally flushed cheeks. In these two days, the two of them can be said to have never taken a step out of the door and stayed in the bedroom for a whole two days. As for what I did I understand everything I know. Li Feng showed a gentle smile on his face and rubbed the legs of the White Empress, which were unconsciously weak, causing her to be coquettishly angry and stare. Although this wife with a sharp tongue and a heart full of tofu says no, her body is honest and terrifying. After tossing around for two days, I still have the energy to make breakfast for him personally. If it weren't for the system making Li Feng's body much stronger, he would probably have had no strength to walk long ago. After breakfast, Empress Bai stood up and tidied Li Feng's collar, whispering, Come back early tonight. I've learned some decent dishes recently. If you come back late, you won't be able to eat. Don't worry, madam. Li Feng kissed her forehead and smiled, tonight. I promise you won't be able to get out of bed. Last time you said the same. Empress Bai hugged her chest with both hands, raised the corners of her mouth with a hint of mockery, and reached out her finger to scrape Li Feng's face. See you tonight. If you have any trouble, you can call me and I will have my father send someone to solve it. Okay. Li Feng smiled slightly and turned around to leave. In order to better enhance the publicity of Tiger Gallbladder, the investors have decided to directly hold the premiere today. As a director, Li Feng must attend a singing and drinking party on site. At this cocktail party, not only well-known directors in the industry were invited, but also many celebrities from the upper class came to support the event. Although all of this can be attributed to the boldness of the investors, it cannot be ruled out that the social impact brought by Li Feng's filming of The Expendables, 123. Quickly, Li Feng arrived at the top floor of the building as usual. Unlike last time, by this time a lot of people had already gathered in the hall. As the director of this film, Li Feng was invited by the organizers to speak on stage for a few words before being surrounded by the media. Director Li Feng, I heard that you are planning to shoot some spy-like films next. Can you tell us the specific plot? Mr. Li Feng, what is your opinion as a director regarding the murder of the lead actor? Is it related to your personal grudges? Mr. Li Feng, as a new generation action film director, I heard that you have merged the positions of director and screenwriter. How did you maintain a balance between these two positions? Dot. Countless questions flooded in, and Li Feng didn't panic either. He was already prepared before coming, so his answers were fluent. After the interview, most of the guests present went to watch the premiere, while Li Feng came backstage alone, intending to have a delicious buffet. But just then, his gaze suddenly caught sight of a familiar face. Colson from the Divine Shield Bureau. How did this guy come to his own promotional event? Is it Li Feng quickly turned his back to avoid letting him notice? As a veteran worker at Marvel World, Colson's popularity in Li Feng's heart is simply too great. Whenever this guy appears in any scene, nothing good will happen in that scene. It is not difficult to guess that Coulson's appearance here is probably due to the aftermath of the U.S. team's return to the Divine Shield. Just as Li Feng was hesitating about how to leave early, Coulson suddenly walked towards him with a glass of wine. Mr. Li Feng, a genius director of the 21st century, has long been famous. Coulson reached out his glass and smiled at Li Feng, nodding and showing his identification. My name is Colson, and I'm from the National Security Bureau, he said faced with the familiar way of greeting, Li Feng remained expressionless, but a hint of killing intent emerged in his heart, making the temperature around him seem to have decreased significantly. Chapter 7 Me, not interested in seeking flower evaluation. You are listening at NovelFull.audio If the Divine Shield Bureau were to intervene in his life at this time, he would be very angry. But if you pretend to know nothing, it may cause even greater trouble. After thinking for a few seconds, Li Feng decided to adapt to the situation. Oh, what's up? 
Li Feng nodded lightly, without any intention of toasting back. Coulson awkwardly withdrew his hand. No matter how foolish he was, he could see that Li Feng didn't seem to welcome him, but he didn't pay too much attention. In this industry, he often encountered such well-known figures, and it was normal for him to be looked down upon. He whispered, Do you still remember what happened here two days ago? We have received a tip-off that the largest mafia group in Masa has already targeted you, so could you please provide information on this? The National Security Bureau may ensure your safety. Upon hearing these words, Li Feng knew it was difficult to escape today. He took a deep breath and tried his best to calm down, saying, I have already warned the U.S. team, but he still hasn't listened to me. Colson's body immediately stiffened and he tentatively asked, Chris told me, do you seem to know him? Is it important to recognize him or not? Li Feng sneered and said, Colson, as a small detective from the Divine Shield Bureau, you should be a smart person. I don't like to talk nonsense to smart people. If there's anything, just say it directly. Colson was immediately speechless. He didn't expect Li Feng to even know that he was from the Divine Shield Bureau. It seems that this guy in front of me is definitely not an ordinary person. He thought for a few seconds before saying seriously, Mr. Li Feng, as you think, I am indeed a member of the Divine Shield Bureau. The purpose of my coming here is to understand why you have some power that normal people cannot control. Of course, you may feel angry at my rude question, but it doesn't matter. Because throughout the United States, the Divine Shield Agency has absolute control over the territory, and we are independent from other governments, even outside the White House. We are committed to finding and protecting every strong individual who is different from ordinary people, and you are one of them. If you're willing to cooperate with me, we'd better find a quiet place to chat. Maybe you'll be interested in joining the Divine Shield Bureau. After speaking, Coulson habitually shook his shoulders and waited for Li Feng's response. Oh, I'm not interested. Li Feng refused without any thought. Are you joking? I live a happy life now, my wife is considerate, and I don't have to worry about food and drink. In a few years, he will be able to achieve the position of top director, with a full reputation and a net worth of trillions. Why join the Divine Shield Bureau? Idle and flustered. Mr. Li Feng, it's better for you to consider before giving me an answer. Colson's smile gradually faded and he said, as you can see, the Divine Shield Agency has strongholds worldwide. People like you have some rebellious mentality to some extent, and we also have many ways to solve such problems. After all, no country's civilians hope to be threatened by uncontrollable factors, do you think? What do you mean? Li Feng's face turned cold and his killing intent surged. You're threatening me. No, 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 I'm just explaining some facts, Coulson shook his head slightly and said, I just want to tell you that there are actually quite a few people like you. Speaking, Coulson took out a phone, retrieved segments of videos and photos, and placed them in front of Li Feng, saying. Look, this is a physicist from the neighboring state of Massachusetts. After being exposed to gamma rays for a period of time, he mutated into a green monster. And this guy, wearing a red tight suit with a spider tattoo on his chest, gliding in the air between buildings in Newcastle City, is very surprising, right? And this guy, who can even summon lightning with a hammer in his hand, almost scared me to wet my pants when I first saw the video. There's even this. A guy whose whole body is made of steel, and their peers call him a steel warrior. No fired thermal weapon can cause damage to him, nor can a grenade. This guy with a few iron claws on his hand, have you noticed that he looks very similar to a wolf? His eager gaze is very charming. Look. Colson smiled, put away his phone, and said, Mr. Li Feng, I just said that there are actually quite a few people like you. If one day you can work with them, is that a good temptation? Li Feng's eyes were cold and he still had no intention of speaking. But he knew that from the moment Coulson took out these photos and videos, it meant that Marvel World was officially on track. If it were someone else who had crossed over, 
he might immediately join the Divine Shield Bureau and then pretend to be coerced by the Avengers to fight monsters. But at this time, he just wanted to make movies and become a world.renowned director. There is no risk and no need to sacrifice one's life. Seeing that Li Feng did not answer, Coulson took out a business card from his pocket and handed it over, saying, Mr. Li Feng, this is my phone number. If you have considered it carefully, you can call me. No need. Li Feng put his hands into his pockets, turned around lightly, and dropped a few words. Coulson, I don't want to cause trouble, nor do I want to get involved with the Divine Shield Bureau. Saving the world, saving humanity, is not suitable for me. I just want to be a big director. If these people in the video want to be the main characters in my movie, they can contact me. I guarantee that the remuneration will satisfy them. But. If you and the Divine Shield Bureau behind you try to control me, or rather destroy my life. I guarantee you will definitely regret it. The threat in the tone is incredibly strong. Looking at Li Feng's gradually disappearing figure, Coulson took a deep breath and held down the communicator behind his ear, whispering, Director, you heard what he said earlier, didn't you? After a long time. The earphone only then heard Nick Fury's thick voice. Hmm, I heard you, this is a strong guy. Coulson sighed and said helplessly, the matter is not easy to handle. It has to be said that in Coulson's impression, Li Feng is definitely a person who is extremely difficult to deal with. In fact, in the previous conversation, he had already gone through both the soft and hard parts, whether it was a request or a threat. But Li Feng, it's just that oil and salt don't enter. Make it clear that you don't want to be a member of the Divine Shield Bureau. So there are only two ways to go next, either, eliminate this uncontrollable factor. Either find another way to force Li Feng to join. Chapter 8 Threats and Threatened Request for Flower Evaluation Ticket You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Coulson suddenly pondered, Director. We have found that Li Feng's wife's father, who is the richest man in Masa City, has been very restless in recent years. Perhaps we can start from him. Do you mean to knock on the richest man in Marsa and have Li Feng comply? Nick Fury squinted his eyes and said in a deep voice, I hope it works. That's it for now. You can arrange for someone to keep an eye on Li Feng and don't let him cause any trouble. Leave the rest to me. Yes. Coulson hung up the phone. Shenden Bureau, Headquarters. Fry stared at Li Feng's photo with a falcon-like gaze, while his fingers traced a surveillance video. In the video, Li Feng's mouth curled up and turned into a black shadow. He instantly approached a gangster and smashed his skull with his bare hand. At the same time, the screen froze in the scene where Li Feng raised his hand with one hand and used hair to kill the mutated person covered in ice. This level of lethality is comparable to the American team. Frederick took a deep breath, with a hint of shock in his eyes. He actually doesn't care about Li Feng's indifferent personality. What he cares more about is this person's ability. The various abilities displayed by it are extremely similar to those of the American team when they first woke up. If we cannot bring him to the Divine Shield Bureau, there may be more uncontrollable factors in the future. With this in mind, Nick Fury didn't hesitate any longer and said to his assistant beside him, Retrieve the personal information and phone number of the richest man in Masa and let me talk to him. The conversation process should be kept confidential. Yes. The assistant nodded slightly. Ten seconds later, the phone is connected. Quickly, the phone was connected, and a calm voice came from the other side of the phone. Hello, this is my personal phone number. Who are you? My name is Nick Fury and I am the director of the National Security Bureau. Your son in law, Li Feng, has already been targeted by us. You need to listen carefully to every word I say next. Nick Fury said quickly without any nonsense, we know that you have bribed officials 30.6 times in Masa City, engaged in commercial falsehoods of framing and framing, engaged in 60.5 instances of unfair market behavior, 
and your company still has a business unit engaged in money laundering activities so far. I know everything about you, including how many boyfriends your mistress has had, and how many wealthy people he has slept with. There was a long silence on the other end of the phone before a dry and dry sentence came back, what do you want me to do? It's very simple, Nick Fury curled his lips and said, I want you to do something that makes your son in law feel troublesome, such as poor box office performance or encountering a wall during filming, etc. As long as it can make him have the idea of not wanting to continue filming, that's all. The other end of the phone seemed a bit incredulous. Is it that simple? Of course, it's even more complicated, Nick Fury sneered and said, let your daughter leave Lee Fong. Um. I can't make a decision, my daughter never likes to listen to me. Then follow what I said. After speaking, Nick Fury hung up the phone directly. The situation is much simpler than imagined, and the richest man in Masa shows no signs of unwillingness to cooperate. This is not surprising, after all, the Divine Shield Agency is considered the highest level special department in the United States, and even the personal safety of the president needs to be under their jurisdiction. What is a small richest man in Masa? Although the father of Empress Bai is the richest man in Masa, he is also considered an influential political figure, almost able to pierce through a hole in Masa with just one sentence. But in front of the Divine Shield Bureau, he is still nothing. That's why Nick Fury dares to threaten so directly and boldly. The person on the other end of the phone clearly knew this fact, so after silence, they still softened. At the same time, Li Feng sat at the premier seat, sipping his wine lightly, recalling his previous conversation with Coulson. His resolute attitude is largely due to his unwillingness to be disrupted by the Divine Shield Bureau in his happy life. If the people from the Divine Shield Bureau want to forcefully intervene, they don't mind solving all the problems. With the ability of the Wilderness Wolf template, dealing with the Divine Shield Bureau that has not yet formed the Avengers League is like eating and drinking water. However, it is worth mentioning the few videos that Coulson showed himself just now. The recovery of Marvel World heralds a disaster for the entire Earth. There is a saying that goes, in times of chaos, heroes are created. This is also Li Feng's idea. But this hero is not a hero who saves the world. But rather Li Feng raised his lips, hoping that in the future, he would recreate most of the important events that happened in Marvel World through filming. So his value will skyrocket in a short period of time. To what extent is it enough to soar? The whole United States, and even the world, will take pride in watching his movies. At that time, the profits he will gain will not be just billions, trillions, so simple. Even, he can establish another, Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the Marvel world. As long as he succeeds, he can lie down and earn money, and even lead a shameless life with his wife. Thinking of this, Li Feng took out his phone from his pocket and called the director's agent, Feynman. When filming, Expendables, 123, he formed a studio team, and Feynman was the first agent he recruited, with excellent abilities. Hi, old buddy, I have something I need to trouble you with. Is it convenient? Just say it, boss. I want to establish a new film company called Marvel Pictures Limited. Marvel. It's a unique name, how much capital do you need to invest? Put all the funds in your account, and after the release of, Tiger and Dragon, all the people in the studio will be merged into the company. All the funds. Boss, what do you want to do? In the future, you will understand. Li Feng hung up the phone and immersed himself in his grand ambitions. In Masa City, an underground boxing ring is holding a hot match with a 1.5 odds. But on site, only one person sat in the largest seat in the audience. He was thin and frail all over, with blonde hair and a tight black suit, carrying a faint cigar scent. His eyes were greedily fixed on the two boxers on the ring, punching and punching. He screamed and went berserk. The newly appointed underground emperor of Masa City and also the organizer of this black boxing ring. Before he officially ascended the throne, 
the old underground emperor of Masa had already controlled the city for decades. But with the appearance of the rampage, Masa city has completely changed. Chapter 9 You, no other choice, seeking flower evaluation. You are listening at novelfull.audio. At this moment, Rage suddenly stood up and walked to the center of the boxing ring. He impatiently waved his hand and asked the two boxers to roll aside, then coldly said, bring it up. One minute later. Two gang members walked up carrying a blonde man covered in blood and threw him to the ground. I haven't taken action against my subordinates for a long time. Raging and grinning, he pressed down on the blonde man's head with five fingers, you know, I'm afraid of trouble and don't like to deal with government officials. But I like money, I like a lot of money, so I took your advice. But the consequence of doing this is that as soon as I arrived in Massa, I was targeted by people from the Divine Shield Bureau. Do you know how much trouble this will bring me? The voice fell, give a click. The blonde man's arm was pinched off with one hand by the thug, making a terrifying cry. He trembled and begged for mercy, boss. No, no, no. I was wrong. I shouldn't have given you this bad idea. No, you're right, it was me who was wrong. I foolishly listened to your opinion. He spoke coldly in a violent tone, and anyone could hear the anger hidden beneath his tone. As for this poor guy kneeling on the ground, it was the mastermind who proposed to kidnap Li Feng and the White Emperor who later threatened the richest man in Masa. Originally, this plan could be considered foolproof, and even in order to achieve the goal, Ryron dispatched his two capable generals, the Ice Man and the Silver Warrior. But no one could have imagined that Li Feng and Empress Bai would instantly kill them. This is not the reason why Riot is so angry. The deaths of two mutants were nothing to him. The real trouble is that the Divine Shield Bureau took over the rest of the matter. This means that you can't continue to do what you want to do as you please when you go berserk. No gangster wants to be targeted by the Divine Shield Bureau, and the same goes for mutants. Right at this moment, at the entrance of the underground black boxing ring, two figures suddenly appeared. One of them has a wolf beard on his face, sharp eyes, and a strong physique. On the other hand, sitting in a wheelchair, his face remained calm, like a pool of stagnant water. When Rampage saw these two faces, his eyes suddenly shrank and his whole body became tense. He squinted and said, X. Men. What are you doing here? I'll give you a warning. Professor X took out a photo of Li Feng and Empress Bai from his pocket and threw it in front of the rampage. From now on, don't trouble these two people, otherwise X. Men will treat you as enemies and tear you into pieces. Wolverine took over the speaking power with an extremely cold tone. What if I say no? Raging, his face twitched and he responded with a sudden response. This is not the first time he has engaged in negotiations with X. Men personnel. As a mutant, he certainly knows what the existence of X. Men represents. You have no other choice. Professor X said lightly. It seems that you must think I'm easy to provoke. Rage gave a fierce smile and snapped his fingers. Around the Black Fist arena, nearly thirty to forty strong men with half naked upper bodies slowly emerged full of oppressive aura. Whoosh! Uncle Wolf suddenly raised his hands, his six claws cutting through the space, and let out a mournful cry. Just as he was about to charge forward, Professor X reached out and stopped him. He looked up calmly and said, Rampage, do you mean you're going against the X. Men? No boss likes to be threatened, Rampage said fiercely, especially in his own field. Threat. Professor X raised the corner of his mouth in a rare way, showing his sharpness. No, no, we're not a threat, but... A warning. The voice fell, he suddenly lifted five fingers and squeezed them out of thin air. Buzz, buzz. Suddenly, everyone in the entire black boxing ring screamed in pain, holding their heads. A terrifying telepathy is spreading in the minds of these people, tearing at their brain cells. But this scream only lasted for a dozen seconds before it stopped. 
Professor X and Wolverine did not stop at all, turned around and left. Fu asterisk K, Fu asterisk K, Fu asterisk K. Raging with a pale and angry face, he cursed around a few times, but did not send anyone to catch up. This is Masa City. If he wants, he can immediately call hundreds of brothers with submachine guns and turn these two guys into sieves. But he didn't go berserk, so he chose to swallow his breath. Because he doesn't want to form enemies with both the Divine Shield Bureau and the X. Men at the same time. But that doesn't mean he won't get angry. Rampage turned around and looked at the trembling body, stretching out five dry fingers that directly crushed his neck. Throw his body into the septic tank, and the garbage will only be left with the garbage. Yes. The body of the blonde man was carried down. With a gloomy expression on his face, he took out a handkerchief, wiped the blood off his fingers, and then took out his phone to make a phone call. He ordered, let me investigate what the guy named Lee Fong came from, why so many people came to protect him, and also, let's not do those businesses recently. I don't want to cause trouble for the Divine Shield Bureau. The Silver Knight and the Iceman have been killed. Let the Griffin and the Angel come to me. After the situation calms down, I will do something big. On the other end of the phone, without saying anything, he hung up. Taking a deep breath, the anger in his eyes gradually dissipated and calmed down. The White Queen is one of the mutants, and he has heard of it to some extent, but he has never been certain. Now it seems that even the X. Men have stepped forward, and this matter is highly likely. But what is the origin of that guy named Li Fong? After the premiere of Tiger and Dragon, Li Fong drove back to the villa. It was already eight o'clock at night, the lights in the living room were still on, and food was already prepared on the table. The White Queen, dressed in a sexy dress, was sitting on the sofa, leaning against her tender white legs, like a pure relief, watching the TV with relish, which was pleasing to the eye. Darling, how did you know I was coming back and even prepared the food specifically? Li Feng walked up directly and rudely embraced him in his arms. Don't underestimate my connections, Empress Bai glanced at him and said, it's thirty minutes later than I expected. Isn't this a bit troublesome? Li Feng placed his fingers restlessly on his tender body and smiled, let's go eat together. He did not intend to inform the White Empress about the Divine Shield Bureau's trouble, as it would make her suspicious. However, it has to be said that Queen Bai's cooking skills are simply superb. She not only prepared many precious ingredients, but also made a large bowl of caviar, paired with God's King Crab's crab paste, which was simply fragrant. Before getting to know Li Feng, Empress Bai could be considered a kitchen novice who knew nothing, not even washing dishes. But after living with Li Feng, she was able to create some new tricks almost every day. This is also one of the reasons why Li Feng loves his wife so much. By the way. During the meal, Empress Bai suddenly lifted her beautiful eyes and said, Father just called me and asked you not to continue making movies in the next two years. What? Li Feng was stunned for a moment, thinking he had heard the wrong thing. He bought us an island in Maldive, shall we go on our honeymoon? The White Queen tilted her head and squinted her eyes into crescent-shaped shapes. This. Li Feng couldn't help but hesitate. Two years. In two years, I'm afraid even the Battle of New York has passed, right? At that time, filming a movie might have been too late, perhaps even losing a lot of fame. But even with his father in laws kindness, he couldn't refuse. What should we do? Empress Bai almost immediately noticed Li Feng's hesitation. She put down her chopsticks and asked seriously, Husband, have you been bothering me a lot lately? Chapter 10 Professor X's Threat, Seeking Flower Evaluation Tickets You are listening at NovelFull.audio Upon hearing this, Li Feng was not nervous. While enjoying the steak, he responded with a faint smile, it's really a bit troublesome. The White Empress paused slightly with her delicate hands holding knives and forks, her eyes filled with an imperceptible killing intent, and calmly pursued, What? I can let my father handle it. 
No, no, it's not that troublesome, Li Feng waved his hand and said with a smile, I was just thinking, which actor would be better to have as the lead in the next three movies. Empress Bai was clearly stunned for a moment, not realizing that what Li Feng called trouble was this trouble. She restrained her killing intent in her eyes and said casually, I see. That black actor named Smith Will is good. That's him then. Li Feng made a decision on the spot without any intention of continuing the topic. He didn't want the White Queen to notice the situation at the Divine Shield Bureau. On my father's side, I will say, I am your woman, and there is no reason not to support your career. Empress Bai wiped her wrist, tidied up the dining table, took out a gift box from the room, and handed it to Li Feng. What is this? Li Feng slowly opened it and inside was an expensive watch with several diamonds inlaid on the surface, which was obviously quite fraudulent. Christmas gift. The White Queen smiled slightly and did not explain much, because the diamonds on this watch were all generated by her own mutated abilities, and came with a ray of telepathic spiritual power. If Li Feng was in any fatal danger, the diamonds would cover his entire body to protect him. If the watch is directly destroyed, she can also receive the sensing immediately. Christmas. Isn't there another week left? Li Feng didn't ask much and put his watch on his wrist. But soon he realized that it might be something specially given by the White Queen for self.defense. After all, the ability of the White Queen is diamond transformation. Thinking of this, Li Feng felt a hint of warmth in his heart. He smiled and hugged Empress Bai's waist, saying, Dear, what gift do you want? I'll prepare it for you. How could anyone ask someone what they want as a gift? Empress Bai snorted lightly, reached out her finger and flicked Li Feng's head, then turned around and walked into the kitchen. I like everything you give me. Li Feng was taken aback and smiled helplessly, his love deepening in his eyes. The next day, in the morning. Li Feng's brain suddenly heard a heart-wrenching reminder sound. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully releasing Tiger Gallbladder and receiving the reward. Nanometer Level Immortal Body Summary This reward is for the protagonist's Nanometer Level Immortal Body in Bloodbath Warrior. Dot. Bloodbath Warrior Nanoscale Immortal Body Li Feng was stunned for a moment. This is the first time he has heard of such a reward. But he hasn't watched the movie yet. The tough guy played by Van Diesel has always been one of Li Fang's favorite actors in action movies. However, he is not very interested in this reward. Immortal body. That sounds pretty good. But for him now, it's not very useful. When the system first wakes up, Li Feng will still be a bit excited. But over time, he lost interest and focused all his energy on making movies. He doesn't intend to save the world, so what is he in a hurry to become stronger? Life is pretty good now, sleeping with the White Queen every day, isn't it fragrant? Thinking of his caring and charming wife, Li Feng couldn't help but curl his lips. Ding lingling. The phone suddenly rang, and Li Feng glanced at the number and lazily pressed to connect. Boss, the company has already been registered, and we need you to come and do the legal representative's procedure. Okay, I'll be right over. Hanging up the phone, Li Feng tidied up and, as usual, got to know Empress Bai for a while before driving out. After Li Feng left, the two men walked into the villa without anyone noticing. One person is pushing a wheelchair, while the other person is sitting in the wheelchair. When the man in the wheelchair saw the figure in the living room who seemed not surprised by their arrival, he squinted his eyes. Emma, we've been looking for you for a long time. Professor X calmly looked at the White Queen and said. So what? The White Queen looked at the two coldly, playing with diamond crystals like Newtonian fluids on her fingers. Upon seeing this scene, Wolverine instinctively stood in front of Professor X's side, with a defensive expression on his face. It seems that you have become more proficient in controlling your own abilities, Professor X smiled gently and said, when your mother brought you to see me, I felt. 
she's not my mother. Empress Bai suddenly felt a chill surge, her voice rising several decibels. Okay, okay, calm down. Professor X raised his hand and pressed against Empress Bai. The latter was taken aback, with a hint of disbelief in his eyes. She felt her brain and body calm down in that moment. Obviously, this is Professor X's method at work. The reason why I came to Masa City to see you this time is not to take you back to the mutant school, Professor X propped up his chin and whispered, you probably don't know yet that the underground emperor of Masa City is a mutant named Riot, right? Mutant. The white empress frowned and said, what's my business? It's really none of your business, Professor X shrugged and said, but. He seems to be very interested in the man next to you. Whoosh, in an instant. The killing intent on the body of Empress by surged. Don't get excited, Professor X's eyes flickered as he raised his hand helplessly. We have already gone to a violent territory and warned him for you. Don't expect me to thank you, Empress Bai sneered and said, I still remember the scene where you controlled me to suppress my abilities. Sorry, Emma. Professor X pushed the wheelchair to the French window, looked at the flower bed in the villa, and murmured, everyone makes mistakes, and I'm no exception. I'm not here to ask you for credit, but just to remind you that the world seems to be beginning to recover. The White Queen remained silent. My brain has been in a mess lately, Professor X rubbed his temples and said in a slightly serious tone. The plan I proposed with Magneto has completely failed. We cannot control the constant influx of mutants. Those evil and uncontrollable guys are likely to make this world a mess. Even. They will attack people like you and me. Then let them come, said the White Empress with a hint of disdain in her beautiful eyes. Professor X gave a bitter smile and asked, What if? That person named Li Fong is also one of them. Click and wipe. A sharp diamond blade resembling an ice cone instantly suspended above Professor X's head.